it's not a dead end. No. Uzbekistan is not as hard a case as it's often made out to be. The government does respond to pressure. So I'll give you one example. When the government mobilizes children and adults to pick cotton, it engages in a practice which is essentially modern slavery. It's something the government has been doing for almost decades. But in the last few years, there's been a very strong international campaign led by apparel companies, NGOs, trade unions, activists inside Uzbekistan to stop the practice of forced labor in the cotton sector. And the US government actually put Uzbekistan on a list in 2013 of the worst abusers um, in, the, in terms of the issue of forced labor. And guess what happened? A month after being put on that list, the Uzbek government allowed an international organization, an independent monitor, the ILO, into the country. And there have been some improvements. There have been changes. So if change can be made on the issue of the cotton industry, which is something so tied to the DNA of Uzbekistan's society, then why can't change be made on torture or helping to release political prisoners or actually increasing the level of democracy inside Uzbekistan? It can be made. It's just something where uh, diplomats, international organizations, journalists, everyone has to work together and make sure that the people of Uzbekistan know that human rights are at the top of the agenda, the very top of the agenda, um, and that things you know, such as corruption and torture won't be tolerated. And that means there have to be consequences. Uh, Uzbek officials that are involved in extending the prison sentences of political prisoners, uh, for example, there was a, a sentence that was extended for Azam Farmonov, um, an activist from Jizakh, he worked on farmers' rights, and he's been in prison for nine years. But just two months ago, Uzbek officials extended his sentence by another three years for no apparent reason other than to punish him. Uh, the officials that did that have to hear from the U.S. government loud and clear that they will be held accountable. Only then will they have an incentive to release him and to allow other activists in Uzbekistan civil society to do their job, to go out, to protest when necessary, and to listen to their suggestions about how to make Uzbekistan a freer, more democratic country.